Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Perhaps you have seen the news that you can run RPC3, a PlayStation 3 emulator, on, for instance, a Raspberry Pi 5. So now it's available on several ARM64 platforms. And I tried it on my Raspberry Pi 5. But unfortunately, I didn't get past the loading screen of, for instance, MotorStorm Pacific Rift. And you can see here that it gets a segmentation fault. And I'm running on Raspberry Pi OS, latest release, checked all the updates. So, yeah, that was a pity. And I also tried the Linux ARM version on my FightMD2000. But I think it has the older ARM A72 cores. And I have the suspicion that you need at least the ARM A76 cores, like the Raspberry Pi 5 has. And also these cores are available on the Rockchip RK3588. But I want to postpone the test on the Rockchip RK3588 until we have a proper Vulkan driver. And well, they have also worked on a Windows on ARM version. Uh, but they haven't released it to the public yet because they say they it was too difficult for them to find any testers. But they hope that now with the new Snapdragon X laptops and tablets that they get perhaps more volunteers for that. Now, when I created this video, Unfortunately, the Windows on ARM version is not available yet. So that's when I started thinking like, well, is there any other way to test this? So I also have uh, some Windows on ARM laptops. And in this case, this one is the Samsung Galaxy Book Go 5G with the Snapdragon 8CX Gen 2. And with Windows, you also have WSL, Windows Subsystem for Linux. So I thought, let's try that Linux version through WSL on Windows on ARM. Now, I wasn't able to get the Vulkan version running but in the end, I was able to get RPCR3 running with OpenGL. So here you can see the packages that you need to install in WSL. And then it all started sort of working. Um, <laughs> I don't think that we have uh, the GPU exposed to WSL so that means that we're running through LLVM pipe and that is not um, hardware accelerated anyway just to show you how far I got So, well, here you can see LLVM pipe, although this is with the Vulkan, it says. But the same goes for OpenGL. And when I show you the configuration, uh, I went to the lowest resolution. And here, so resolution scale 320 by 180. The text really isn't readable anymore. 
but I thought like well just for demo purposes just to see you that the executable does work um, so if anyone uh, knows how to get it working properly on a Raspberry Pi 5 just let me know in the comments uh, I would love to know because yeah now through WSL without proper access to the GPU the performance is really horrible uh, I mean like that's not the problem of RPC F3 that's the problem of WSL and yeah if Microsoft really wants to make Windows on ARM a success then I have the feeling that they need to put in some more effort but that's my opinion anyway I also set this to fastest share the quality to low and as you can see I set the renderer to OpenGL so if we try to start it now so I'll just let it run so you can see the real-time uh, performance and I'll put a chapter marker for when it actually starts playing the intro I wasn't really able to get to gameplay uh, but yeah once you see the disappointing frame rate with the intro then you probably can understand why I didn't get to uh, the gameplay because yeah you're just almost playing like a slideshow but anyway uh, at least I know that the executable the app image that it's that it can work uh, so if anyone knows how to get it working on a Raspberry Pi 5 I'd love to know put it in the comments or if anyone knows how to expose the GPU in WSL I would also love to know so this is the loading screen that's where it sec faulted on my Raspberry Pi 5 but now we get a little bit further and as I said, the text isn't really readable at this low resolution. So this is the logo of Evolution Studios. And they're using the Havoc engine. And now we should be getting to the intro. So now you see that the frame rate drops. Yeah, somewhere between three and eight frames per second. So that's really not a, a frame rate to play a game. But at least uh, I, I got a whole lot further than on my Raspberry Pi 5. I'm just going to stop this. So the good part is, is that with this test, I can see that the app image itself, that it works. Um, I was looking at trying to get Arch working on my Raspberry Pi 5, but that is not a straightforward thing. Because um, I also tested with Ubuntu on my Raspberry Pi 5, but I got the same result with that segmentation fault. Um, and the other thing is that I'm really waiting for the Windows on ARM version of RPC3. So I really hope that they will just release it, even though that they don't have many testers. 
because I think that by releasing it, they will get more feedback. And now they probably don't get that much feedback. Uh, I saw someone on Blue Sky that he said that he was looking at compiling it for Windows on ARM. So perhaps we'll get it through that way. In itself, it's, it's good news that you can run RPC3 on modest hardware. And um, yeah, I would love to see more developments for RPC3 on ARM. So this is all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.